has been so long since I've spoken to a camera. What is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I apologize. I've been MIA for a little bit. We kind of had a hurricane down here. Okay, forgive me just a little bit. Since you guys have last seen me, uh, nothing has changed with Booster Rooster. Uh, nothing has changed with the Calmero, except we're going to do some stuff today. And really, it's just been a hurricane and uh, no car stuff has been going on. The truck is dirty. We are up here at RPM Motorsports and we are going to be working on the cow. I, I knew this door was locked, but I tried it anyways. That's that's how my day is going right now. So, first of all, walk in here, pow. I got a new Kirky seat. Martin. What's up? What's up? What's up? We got Martin over. What, what are you doing, Martin? You're just, you're just giving people horsepower? All the time. That's what Martin does. Martin and I, we sit here, we give people horsepower. So we got a new Kirky seat. This will be for the... Uh, Push. Oh, well, it's, we got it's time. Anyways, Kirky seat. That'll be for the salty chicken. We got Craig here. We're waiting on Craig to do the world's slowest oil change. Now that's done. Craig does the world's First slowest everything. <laughs> Look at this. We got some turbos sitting right there. We got my transmission. My new upgraded torque converter and all my turbo stuff is over there. Down in uh, four over there. He has a Mustang. That's, that's the guy that sold that cramp too. And honestly, it doesn't roll that terrible. Look at this. I'm looking on the fucking red now. Yeah. You can never get that with the roll bar. John. John Bar. Oh, John. 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 Get the door done. All right, so back to it. Now we got the cow marrow inside. Guys, I have missed this car so much. I think it's been sitting out so long and these are getting faded. So we're gonna get some cow marrow stickers for that. We got the transmission back for Mike's transmission. Just gave a good once over, made sure nothing was bent or broken. Fixed a couple things in there. We got my new PTC torque converter. I say my new, it's the same one, but it just got upgraded. Dusty at PTC. Uh, he's been helping me go faster and faster every time I like it. We got Jeff from High PSI TV over there. Um, if you haven't seen his video with the Tahoe, check that out because he's got like a crazy fast Tahoe, runs 12s, check that out. So we go over here, this is my little tool cart here. I was doing some stuff, I re-wrapped this uh, Y-pipe here, this crossover for the turbo kit, this is the hot side, and uh, this was off when Jeff had to fix this and weld it, so I re-wrapped that and uh, I'm trying to keep the engine bay temps under control. My old broken crankshaft right there, I'll still give that away. Comment below and I'm gonna pick a winner from this video. You'll see it in the next video. And the winner of that, I will send this to you. You can hang on your wall, do whatever. Right over here, what we have is, uh, this is gonna, this is, this is badass. This is an elbow for a Super Victor and on it is a dual stage Nitrous Express plate system. Yes, Nitrous will be on the John Doc YouTube channel soon. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a whole separate video, but that is a sweet little piece. So I got all my hardware in there, I got my trans cross member, I got the heat wrap on there, and I got just a bunch of parts floating around here, the cow intake manifold, everything is just so dirty. I just need to clean everything up. Look at this, I mean, look at this filter. Yeah, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to work today. We're gonna start getting stuff back on there. Uh, I need to take the fuel pumps out, send those out to four and get them looked at because they had some E85 sitting there, Not, no bueno. So we're gonna make sure everything is good, top to bottom, front to back, everything is going to be new uh, or freshened or you know 100%. So as you see, we got the 416 Stroker LS3 sitting in there and uh, we gotta get the radiator in there and then the rest of the charge pipe and the turbo, um, put a belt on it and then get the fuel pumps out. So for today, if we can get the transmission in, fuel pumps out, and most of this turbo kit on, I think we'll be good. But I just remembered I need to call and order some belts real quick, so help me do that. As you can see, we got Jeff from High PSI TV. Steve's gonna eat this up, isn't he? Yep, he's, he's gonna be like, holy shit, Jeff is working on a car right now. Hey, but can we just say something, can we just get something straight? Jeff, I got three cars right now. Yeah. And you were responsible for how many? Only one. Only one. Yep. All right, so, and I've been learning everything from Jeff to work on the others, and, and you know what? The others are gonna beat Steve, so it's pretty much just like Jeff working on it because I'm using Jeff's knowledge to beat Steve. So Steve's like always tagging Jeff and stuff. Like, if you guys don't know, I've been talking shit to send it to Steve, tell him I'm gonna bust his ass. And he's like, oh, Jeff built your car. And I'm like, that's fine, because Jeff's badass. So uh, we got the transmission going back in and uh, 
converter is in there. So I'll talk to you guys later once I get the car running. We're going to go a whole rundown of what the setup is, every single part on this vehicle. Uh, this is a part that's, I'd say, overlooked and... Uh, people don't really talk about too much. Uh, this is uh, my four triple pump fuel system. So these are three Walboro 450 pumps. I think they're hopped up a little bit by four. They're, they're pretty badass. Uh, this setup right here will support like 2100 horsepower on pump gas or on race gas and like 1800 horsepower on E85. Uh, it has its own module and everything. And for the late model GM stuff like in Corvettes, CTSVs, I think Robert Robert's car has a four system, right? Yep. So that car has a four I think that's a double pump system, similar to the triple pump, but he's on E85. This car up in the air right here has a 416 stroker, uh, Maggie supercharger, stock transmission, uh, makes about 850 wheel. It's just an awesome daily driver style car. He's not trying to make the biggest number, just something that's super streetable, but still a ton of power. Uh, so the four system for the Cadillacs, we run it in the fifth gens. We have a couple fifth gens with it, and we run it in the new... Uh, Corvettes as well and we will be running our shop car when it does come out but overlooked uh, expensive definitely but is it nice yes so the reason why I have it out of the vehicle is uh, well I couldn't get all the E85 out of the car so I tried my damnedest to get it out and it just would not come out um, thing with E85 it likes to collect moisture suck moisture out of the air uh, being that the car sat for so long, fuel system's ventilated, I had some fuel lines open. The last thing you want to do is let the E85 corrode or mess up the fuel pump, take it down track, leans out, pow, you hurt the motor. Brand new engine, now it's hurt because of the fuel pump. So what I did, I called uh, Rick at 4 Innovations. He always takes care of me. He said, hey, take it out, leave it in the sending unit, ship it to me overnight, I'll fix it, and I'll send it back same day. Uh, so you can't really ask for any better service than that. So if you're out there looking for... Um, any sort of fuel upgrade that you're gonna mix big power, definitely go with four. Yeah, that's about it. Jeff is putting the bell housing bolts in and then the motor will not be rocking back and forth because before the only thing that it was rocking back and forth on were The stock motor mounts. So we went back to a stock motor mount and I'll tell you guys why. So uh, before, I don't know if you guys go way back and remember videos where we put in some BMR solid motor mounts. I thought they were cool. You could really feel them in the car. The car wasn't as comfortable. The car wasn't as comfortable to drive. So we come up here and right underneath where I sit all day is where my turbo is. Oh. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell. See those marks right there? Yeah, that's from the balancer running into it. So, uh, let me set this back down. Pretty much because there was no kind of like keyway in the motor mounts, it would allow the engine to move forward and backwards. And as I would accelerate, it would move forward and push the balancer into the turbocharger. So, definitely no bueno. We're going back to the factory motor mounts. All right, guys. I know I forgot to film an outro, so I'm in here in the kitchen. Film outro looking like a bum. It's like one in the morning, just hammering this out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be staying late at the shop. Hopefully getting the Camaro wrapped up, got my fuel pumps back. Uh, the guys over at Four absolutely killed it. Sent it to them, fixed it same day, and overnighted it back to me. Uh, could not ask for better service, so uh, I cannot speak of them highly enough. Um, if you need anything for the late model Mustangs, I don't know if they do anything for Dodge, but I know Corvettes, Camaro, CTSVs, they are the absolute go-to. I yell at my boy Rick there all the time. I said, dude, make something for the F bodies uh, that might be coming in the future. Uh, so we are moving right along. Jeff's been a huge help uh, getting the cow back together. Jeff pretty much is, is the lead on that uh, because that is at a point where you know, it, it has so much stuff on there, so many different parts, so much different than a race car. Uh, race cars are pretty simple to work on compared to that because that has all the stock stuff, then all the race car stuff piled on top of it. So Jeff does a great job making sure I'm safe going down track. I wanna give a huge shout out to RPM Motorsports because uh, they have been supportive of the cow 100% of the way. Um, Ryan lets me use the shop, get everything ready. I'll use all the resources and everything like that. And Jeff helps me put together. So uh, without those two guys, the cow wouldn't be what it is today. Um, also, I got Texas Speed Rotating Assembly. I got Texas Speed Crank. Um, and then I got uh, Cali's Comstar Rods and Wisco Pistons. So big shout out to Texas Speed hooking up on the crank. I cannot wait to get that car back on the road. I do want to thank guests for watching. Be on the lookout for these upcoming videos. I got a huge, huge 
uh, part for the salty chicken in. It's in the garage. I can't show you guys right now. Um, got a ton of moving parts. We are going to be back on the road with multiple vehicles for the John Doc YouTube channel here very shortly. For those of you guys that have stuck around the past couple weeks, I know I've been kind of slow. I've been busy. I've been working. Thank you guys. It means more than anything. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do so. Also, comment, like, subscribe. We will see you guys next time.